today's video is the highly anticipated Houston food tour part two. If you haven't seen part one yet, make sure to check it out because we ate at so many delicious spots and we went to my personal favorite, Bucky's. So you definitely do not want to miss out on that. Whenever I go on a trip, I always miss all the amazing food once it's over. But thanks to Cookunity, I can have restaurant quality meals right at home. If you guys don't know what Cookunity is, it's a service that delivers freshly prepared meals right to your door every week. But these aren't just any meals. They're handcrafted by talented professional chefs cooking inventive, delicious meals every day in regional micro kitchens instead of massive production facilities. They use real high quality ingredients, so it's like you're getting a restaurant quality meal at home. They're delivered fresh and fully cooked, so all I have to do is heat it up and I'm good to go, which means I don't have to stress about meal planning and cleanup is super easy. I always get so excited to choose my meals for the week because their menu rotates constantly with a wide range of cultural flavors and cuisines. They even have various dietary preference filters like keto, vegan, gluten-free, low sodium, and more. By the way, it's flexible, so if I'm traveling, I can pause, skip weeks, or cancel at any time. Some of my favorite meals that I've ordered multiple times are the tonkotsu ramen with chashu, Asian pork tacos, and the shrimp and smoked andouille sausage jambalaya by chef Akhtar Nawab, which is what I have today. Mm. So flavorful and filled with snappy sausage and shrimp. So if you want to try it out for yourself, go to cookunity.com slash meimei or click the link in my description and use code meimei50 for 50% off your first order of meals. Thank you to Cook Unity for sponsoring and let's get on to the Houston food tour. market Thai Lao food and I got a lot of recommendations to come here for my Instagram story so shout out to you guys for telling me about this place it's like a little shop that has some seating for the restaurant but it also has a small market in the back but yeah today we're just focusing on the restaurant so here we have the Pad Ki Mao with chicken and it has basil peppers chili and also cherry tomatoes which I've actually never had in my Pad Ki Mao before Mm. Wow, that has a really good flavor. We got it medium spicy and you can definitely taste that kick in there. Also, they have a lot of different varieties of like spicy stuff to add to your food. So we got one of each. This one is a fish sauce with Thai chili. This is chili oil. This is vinegar with serrano peppers and this is sambal. So even if it's not spicy enough for you, you can add a lot of different stuff to make it spicier. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the sambal. Mmm. Oh, it definitely adds spice and it even adds a little acidity too. Next up, we have the crab fried rice. And in here we have green onions, carrots, peas. It looks like white onion as well. And there's little bits of egg in there. Mmm, tastes like a very standard fried rice. You do get those little chunks of crab coming through. So that adds a lot of that like crab seafoody flavor as well as different kinds of texture throughout the fried rice. I really enjoy those chunks of crab. We also got this one medium spicy and I feel like this is actually not as spicy as the Pad Ki Mao, but that's also why you have all those different kinds of hot sauces that you can add. Personally, I think the rice is a little bit on the mushy side for me. I would want it to be a little more bite but overall it's pretty good and then last but not least we also got their Penang curry and we got it with beef it looks like it has a very coconut creamy kind of like texture and then along with the beef there's also bamboo shoots bell peppers and it comes with a little side of rice so let me scoop some of this curry onto the rice let's give it a try mm. This is such a comforting dish. The beef is surprisingly pretty tender. It's not like super chewy or anything. And the bamboo shoots adds a really nice crunch to it. I really like the spice level in this. It adds a nice kick of spice, but it's nothing too, too much. And we got medium spice for everything. The creaminess contrasts the spiciness so well. And honestly, it's just so good. I could literally just drink it straight up like this. It's really good. Very flavorful. Definitely a hit. milk and cookies and we got some cookies of course and I also got a matcha latte I'm really trying to wake up because I'm still on California time the two hour time difference is getting to me <laughs> of course we're using our feed mimi glass boba straw link will be in the description as always Ooh, they have the good crunchy ice. Wow, the matcha is actually pretty good. Like it's not super bitter and it tastes like high quality matcha. All right, the moment of truth. Ooh. 
My cookie! No! <laughs> we got a new cookie. We got a new cookie. <laughs> have to be very careful with this. Ooh. Wow. All right, cheers. Mmm. Mm. It's like soft, buttery, chocolatey. Could be harder. <laughs> Nonsense. Nothing from you. Bird wants to know if you guys like hard cookies or soft cookies. I like my cookies to have like a crisp on the outside and then be soft on the inside and melty chocolate chips. This, I wish it was a bit like crispier on the outside though, because it's pretty soft. It's like soft all around, but the chocolate chip ratio is nice and really good flavor. Someone keeps blocking my way. CK Bakery or Eck Bakery? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're known for their egg tarts. So we got two egg tarts and they smell so, so good. Look at that flaky crust. Literally so many, so many layers of flakiness. Mmm. Wow. That immediate crisp when you bite down from the crust, so, so good. Filling is very sweet and eggy and creamy. And the crust, very, very flaky. I like how it has a little crisp to it, too. Definitely a solid egg part. Crawfish Cafe. We got two pounds of crawfish and we got their signature sauce, which is garlic butter and Cajun. I feel like these actually are bigger than yesterday's. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Oh wow, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can see why there would be lines for this. Right now, we came pretty close to opening at three o'clock, but they said that later on, they're gonna have like one hour, two hour waits. So definitely try to come at like a non-peak hour. Yeah, this is definitely, like the crawfish are bigger and the meat is much bigger yeah. here and it's more flavorful. Crawfish is already kind of more intense flavor than lobster and then this crawfish specifically is even more flavorful. <laughs> In addition to the crawfish, we also got some snow crab legs because our waiter recommended that that their snow crab is really good right now. You guys, look at this. Oh my God, it's huge. And you can see that flavoring. It's a garlic butter and Cajun. Mmm, mmm. So garlicky, so buttery, so Cajun-y. This is amazing. I think this is definitely, so far, one of the best things I've eaten in Houston. I don't know if you guys have seen those videos of people eating seafood and then they pull the crab meat all in one piece. I really want to try doing that. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. Moment of truth. <gasps> I did it! <laughs> I got my piece of crab. This is my pride and joy. I'm gonna dip it in more sauce. Mmm. That's really good crab. Amazing. Just pure bliss. Definitely check it out. I would recommend this one over the one yesterday. Will you make your face or Okay, so now we are at Mamma Mia Sugar Cane. And so we got two different kinds of sugar cane drinks here. And I saw on the menu that they have panda waffles. So I had to get it. I love panda waffles so much. Look at that beautiful green color. And it feels nice and crispy. Let's break it apart. Wow. Ah, it's steaming. And you can even see some coconut shreds right there. Mmm, nice and crispy on the outside. Has a bit of a chewy texture. And then you get the texture of those coconut shreds. And this one's not too sweet either. Now let's try the sugarcane juice. This one is Coco Mia, which is coconut juice, coconut meat, and sugarcane juice. Ooh. Wow, look at all that fresh coconut meat swirling around. Mmm, mmm, so refreshing. This is literally the epitome of refreshingness. <laughs> you can't drink this and not feel refreshed. It's nice and sweet. You definitely get that coconut flavor coming through. It really tastes like when you order coconut at a restaurant and then you're drinking the coconut juice from the coconut. It literally tastes like that, plus sugarcane juice. Very refreshing. Just stopped by 
by JT and I was really intrigued by this place because they seem to have a lot of different kinds of drinks with the milk jello on top. So this is actually similar to the one that we had at the bunny tea. And I guess this is like a thing in Houston because I have never seen this in the Bay Area, like putting this milk jello in your boba drink. So this I think is their most popular drink. It's the green milk tea with milk jello. Oh, whoa. The green milk tea is like, it tastes like green Thai tea or Thai green tea, which has this kind of like vanilla-y jasmine flavor to it. It's very sweet though. So if you don't like your drinks too sweet, then definitely adjust the sugar if you can. I don't remember if they allowed me to adjust the sugar, but try this milk jello. Hmm, the milk jello in this one, I feel like it's not as creamy as the one at the bunny tea. It definitely has more of that like firm jello bite to it and it actually doesn't have that much flavor. I feel like the one at the bunny tea had more flavor too. It was like more creamy and more flavorful, but this one is not bad and it's like fun to eat. And then I also picked up these like, Vietnamese pork and shrimp dumplings and I believe the wrapper is made out of like tapioca. So that's why it's clear. It comes with a side of fish sauce. So I'll give it a dip. Mmm, the wrapper is so chewy, almost kind of mochi-like ish, but not quite. And on the inside, you get that nice shrimp and pork flavor. There's like pretty good chunks of shrimp. It's so good with the fried shallots. It adds such a nice flavor and the chopped chili adds a kick for sure. <laughs> What a burger. Apparently, burger. it's not pronounced what a burger. You're supposed to pronounce it like what a burger. What a burger. What a burger. So I got the patty melts because it was on their all-time favorites menu, and we got a meal because I wanted to try the fries. Hmm, no bad. Hot, crispy. Actually, surprisingly, not that salty. Mm -hmm. And they have two different types of ketchup. They have fancy ketchup and spicy ketchup. So actually, I want to try the spicy ketchup. Whoa, it's really interesting. It tastes like sriracha ketchup, but the ratio of sriracha to ketchup is like maybe 5% sriracha and 95% ketchup or 10% sriracha and 90% ketchup. It's good though. Here is the patty melt. I'm going to put some spicy ketchup on top too. Mmm, it's actually not bad. The patties are juicy and also the cheese adds a nice creaminess. And I really like the flavor of the onions inside too. And it's good with the spicy ketchup. And then we saw that they have a Dr. Pepper shake, which apparently Dr. Pepper is from Texas, which I did not know. And this is a small size, but then this is a medium. This is a small, this is a medium. There's a very big difference. They need like a medium junior or something in between a small and a medium. All right, let's try the Dr. Pepper shake. Oh, it's actually kind of nice. I actually don't really like Dr. Pepper that much. It's definitely not my choice of soda when I have to order soda. But yeah, I actually like it in shake form better than the soda form. I guess it kind of tastes very similar to if you had a Dr. Pepper float because it has the flavor of the Dr. Pepper and then it has the like, flavor of vanilla ice cream. Bird loves Dr. Pepper, so we'll see what a Dr. And milkshake. And milkshakes. <laughs> so we'll see what a Dr. Pepper lover's opinion is. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
<laughs> That's it. I like the flavor of the Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. I think it works better than I would have expected as a shake. The only problem is I think the shake could be a little more like easy to drink. Oh, a really? A little too thick. I thought the thickness was good. No, no, you don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Anyway, now we go to Cidercade. Woohoo! <laughs> barbecue a very very famous barbecue place in Houston this is my first true experience of Texas barbecue so I am literally so freaking excited so what they recommended that are the muskets are the brisket the pork ribs and then also the jalapeno cheese sausage so we're gonna have a little taste of each one I'm gonna try the brisket first I think it looks so juicy literally look at that it just falls apart completely Mmm, it has such a nice smoky flavor on the outside. I'm gonna put some of their sauce on it. Mmm, mmm. That barbecue sauce is so unique. Well, maybe it's because this is my first like Texas barbecue sauce, but it's not as sweet as barbecue sauce that you would normally get just like at the store. It's still kind of tangy and it's more smoky. You know, the brisket, it is good, but I expected it to be juicier. And it, when it falls apart, it like got me so excited that it was gonna be so juicy and tender, but it still is a little bit dry actually, which I'm shocked. But let's move on to the pork ribs. Mmm, mmm. The pork literally falls off the bone. This one is more tender than the brisket. Oh, <laughs> it literally did fall off the bone. Surprisingly, the pork rib is actually more tender than the brisket. It almost like melts in your mouth. It's very tender and fatty and it has this nice sweet glaze on it. Oh my God, those ribs are amazing. Borderline life-changing. And then we also have their jalapeno cheese link. Mm. Wow, the cheese comes out a lot. It's very like creamy and the jalapeno flavor you also get It actually kind of reminds me of like when you get nachos and then you get like the queso on top And then you have those little pickled jalapenos. It kind of has like that but in a sausage form The sausage has a nice flavor has a nice snap to it as well So pretty solid my favorite of course is the pork ribs if you come here definitely 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 You cannot come here without getting those pork ribs because that is the star of the show so good Okay, so now we are at our second barbecue stop and it is Truth Barbecue. We ordered a three meat combo with two sides. So we got their brisket, their pork ribs, and their spicy pepper jack sausage. And then for the sides, we got their corn pudding, which I think is really interesting. And then we also got their Brussels sprouts. Look at that brisket. Oh my gosh. Mm. Definitely has a nice smoky flavor to it. And like, it is kind of tender, but it also is kind of dry too. It tastes good. It's just kind of dry. I'm shocked. I'm gonna add some of the sauce on top. The barbecue sauce adds so much flavor. It pairs really well with the flavor of the brisket. This barbecue sauce is more tangy and kind of sweet. Sweeter than the Pinkerton's one. But yeah, it's good. Now, the pork ribs. 
Wow, it's very, very smoky. Hella, hella smoky. Not saying I'm mad at it. I like the smokiness. Not quite as tender as Pinkerton's, but still pretty tender. The barbecue sauce adds a lot of tanginess to this because when you eat it without the barbecue sauce, it's like pure porky smokiness. And then with the barbecue sauce, it adds like a tanginess to it, like an acidity. Overall, I'm very impressed at how clean the bone comes out because the meat just like kind of falls off. It's very tender. And now for the spicy pepper jack sausage. I really like that one. I like that one better than the jalapeno cheese one at Pinkerton's, yeah. When you're chewing the sausage, the cheesiness kind of melts in your mouth and brings this creamy taste. It's very interesting, but I like it. It has a very slight kick from the spicy pepper jack. Next up, we have to try some of the sides. Here is the corn pudding. It looks very similar to like corn bread, but in like a pudding form with lots of corn inside. Mm, mm -hmm. It tastes pretty much how I described. It tastes like cornbread, kind of has like a creaminess to it and then you get those little bits of corn inside too it has like that sweet corn flavor i didn't know what to expect for this but it's actually really good also they're apparently really well known for their cakes so we had to get a slice and this one is their like neapolitan so it has strawberry vanilla and chocolate dude this is one slice and it's huge head for comparison and my head is not small i'm gonna try the chocolate first Mm. It's very rich and moist. It's like the kind that kind of sticks in your mouth, you know? Like that's how you can tell how rich it is, but it's good. This is the vanilla. The frosting on the vanilla layer is like a cream cheesy frosting. The vanilla cake is nice and moist too. All right, let's try the strawberry. It does have a strawberry flavor. Out of the three layers, I like the chocolate the best, but I'm biased towards chocolate cake. In the sky. and apparently they do have a barbecue place, but it's like 30 minutes away. And the one that we're at, it's actually right next to Truth Barbecue. It's like a more of a Southern comfort food kind of concept, but actually the reason we wanted to go to Killen's Barbecue was because my friend Joseph, he kept raving about their croissant bread pudding. So even though we're at the Southern comfort food concept, they still do have bread pudding. So we came here for the bread pudding specifically. So basically their bread pudding is a croissant bread pudding. They have a tres leche sauce that they put on top, and then they also top it off with some sliced pizza. It literally looks so good. Mm. Whoa, this is really good. It's really good, right? Yeah. It's so interesting to have bread pudding with croissants. Yeah. Because you really taste like the butteriness the of the croissant. And I actually really like the peaches with it. It kind of gives like a peach cobblery vibe to it as well. It's warm, it's sweet, it's buttery, very rich as well, and creamy from that tres leche sauce too. The peach is nice and juicy and crunchy. Adds a really nice flavor. It has like a little tartness too to it. Oh my God, it's really good.
it's officially our last day in Houston, but we are starting off with a bang because we are at the Breakfast Club, which is a very highly reviewed and famous breakfast and brunch place in Houston. They're most famous for their wings and waffles, which is basically just chicken and waffles, and also their catfish and grits. So those are the two things we ordered because I want to try all the good stuff. So I'm going to start off with a piece of the fried chicken. It looks so golden and crispy. Mm, mm. The batter is more of a crunchy crispy rather than like a light and crispy. And it has a lot of flavor in there as well. Like they season the batter really well. The chicken is nice and juicy. It's actually just so flavorful. Now let's try some of that waffle. Mm. It's fluffy and sweet. Could be crispier, but it's like a nice compliment to the fried chicken. Next up, we have the catfish and grits. And then you also have the option of getting it with eggs or potatoes. And we went ahead and got the potatoes. Mmm. Mmm. It has a really nice crispy breading. The seasoning in the batter is great too. Adds a lot of flavor. And the catfish has so much flavor. It's very tender and flaky and has a lot of pure catfish flavor. On top of the grits, there's like, I think it's a pool of butter. It's a bit intimidating, but let's give it a try. Mm. That is definitely a pool of butter. I just had like pure butter in my mouth. However, it is nice because the catfish is so flavorful. So it's nice to have the grits on the side to kind of like balance out the flavorfulness of the catfish. It's kind of like when you eat stuff with rice, you want the rice to balance out all the flavor and the saltiness that comes from the dish. It definitely has that like breakfast potato flavor. Like the flavors of the onions and the bell peppers really infuse into the potatoes. They're nicely seasoned. My one gripe about it though is I wish it was crispy because they're not really crispy at all. And I just personally love crispy potatoes. But the flavor here is really good. Okay, so we have some pastries, or I don't know if they're considered pastries, but kolaches from the kolachi shop. Apparently, this is like a Czech type of food, and it's very popular in Texas, right? Yeah. So this first one is sausage, egg, jalapeno, and cheese. And it kind of just looks like a bun, like an Asian bakery bun. Mmm. The bun itself is so like soft and pillowy, a bit doughy too. And they really do not skimp on the filling. This thing is literally full. Like, look at that. You can see that the bun that's encasing it is actually very thin too. So it's literally just filled with a lot of filling. And then the added jalapeno adds this nice kick and also acidity because it's kind of like those pickled jalapenos. This is actually really nice. Next, we have the kielbasa cheese and jalapeno. This one kind of looks like a little hot dog bun. Like the Asian bakery hot dog buns, it kind of looks like that. Mm. It actually does give me Asian bakery hot dog bun vibes. However, the sausage that they use is obviously not a hot dog. It's a kielbasa. So it has a definitely a different flavor. Not as like, you know how hot dogs are sometimes like hella, 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 hella salty? This one's not as hella salty as a hot dog. So that's really nice. And the saltiness, of course, is balanced out by this nice bun. I like it. I am a fan. before we go back home. And what better food to get than barbecue? I know we had barbecue yesterday, but I had to just try one more barbecue place before I leave. So this place is called Blood Bros Barbecue, and they're actually known for like an Asian twist on barbecue, kind of like an Asian fusion barbecue. The first thing that intrigued me was that they have these gochujang glazed pork ribs. You can see on top, they sprinkle some sesame seeds and green onions as well. Mmm. Mm. It's super, super smoky. You get a little hint of that gochujang. It's actually not super strong, but you can tell it's there because it adds the tiniest 
tiniest, tiniest little kick. Decently tender as well. I mean, of course, it's not as tender as the one at Pinkerton's. That one's just insanely tender. But this one, it is juicy and tender to an extent. I do wish that it had more of that gochujang flavor though, because that's like why I ordered it, you know? All right, I'm gonna try some of their brisket. It looks super juicy. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. This is the tenderest brisket that we had on this trip. More tender than Pinkerton's, more tender than Truth Barbecue as well. Juicier, has a really nice smoke flavor too. I also got a side of their smoked Gouda mac and cheese. That really stuck out to me because I love Gouda. Mmm. Oh wow, I really like it. It has such a nice Gouda-y flavor. It's so creamy and rich and the flavor, I don't know, I just, there's something about Gouda, I just love it. I feel like the flavor of Gouda, it's just like more complex than some other cheeses, you know? Get the mac and cheese, it's worth it.